Well, thank you, Noah, for having me. My name is Matthias Scheffelmeier, and I represent Ashoka, a global network of social entrepreneurs. I want to start with a quick story. Picture yourself on a beautiful day in Denmark and imagine a seven-year-old boy sitting on his family dinner table with a white piece of paper and a pen in his hands, no laptops, no cell phones. And he starts, and this is a true story, to draw a picture. And what you see up here is that exact same picture that this seven-year-old boy was drawing. Now, if you were his mother or father, you would probably ask yourself, what is my young boy up to? Um, a few hours later, it suddenly hits the father, and he runs to the bookshelf, picks out the car atlas, the printed car atlas of Europe, opens the first page, and this is what he finds. Now, remember, the young boy didn't have this book next to him. The boy has autism, Asperger's syndrome, and his father, instead of looking at it as, at it as a weakness, he started a social venture, and he became a social entrepreneur. He created Specialistern, which is a social business operating in 20 countries, training people, young people with autism, to become specialists in software and tech companies. Because what they're really, really good at is focusing, software debugging, concentrating on a, on a repetitive task for hours and hours and hours. And SAP just recently announced that they'll employ 1% of their people from within the specialist there and pool of specialists. Now, I want to give you just two or three other examples. This is Hero Rats from Mozambique in Africa. And what they do is they train African rats to detect landmines. And just two years ago, it was announced that Mozambique is now landmine free thanks to the rats because they can sniff the ingredients in the landmine, wave with their tail, take them out, much more efficient than with any other um, thing on the market right now, another great social entrepreneur. One more example. One in 10 drugs in developing and emerging countries is counterfeit and is fake. And there is tens of thousands of people that die because they go to a pharmacy, buy a product, take it, and it was fake, and it didn't help them, or even worse, it killed them. Now, what they do, M Pedigree, they collaborate with pharmaceutical companies, put a unique code on each package. You can send a simple SMS, and you immediately get a message back that tells you, no, back off, this is a fake product, or yes, we officially tell you that this is safe to take. A brilliant solution, free of charge, saving tens of thousands of real lives. Last example from Germany. Frank Hoffmann, he used to be a doctor, and he, this is the most incredible story in my eyes, discovered that blind women, because of their special senses, can detect tissue alternations in the women's chest and therefore be trained to detect breast cancer at a stage where the chances for healing are a lot higher than if a regular doctor did this chest examination. Absolutely incredible. What have all these people in common? We refer to them as social entrepreneurs. On the one hand, they have a very clear vision of solving a pressing societal issue, but on the other hand, just like the folks in the room and the attendants of the NOAA conference, they're entrepreneurs at heart. They look at scale, at growth, at disruption, at innovation, at professionalism, at good marketing, at growing these ideas. And we want to be the global network that supports them. We identify them, we do due diligence, we have a long list of categories, we measure their impact, it's bulletproof, it's a transparent selection process, and we then take them on to a global fellowship of currently over 3,000 social entrepreneurs globally. What we do with them is we provide them with seed funding, stipends, mentoring, coaching, and accompany them along the entire growth of their social ventures. We don't do this alone. We have hundreds of partners literally around the world that provide their services for free or at a very low bono cost to these social entrepreneurs and help together with us realize their vision for social impact. Now I want to share, to wrap this up, three reasons with you all today why I think you may want to care about social entrepreneurship. Number one, we did a study recently with McKinsey where we discovered that a lot of the multi-billion dollar markets that exist today have in fact been pioneered by visionary social entrepreneurs. Think of Airbnb, for example. There was couch surfing 
a long way before that, which is a cost-free service to match people that want to stay at other people's home when they travel. And they did that because they had this vision of intercultural understanding. Or think of Khan Academy, a cost-free education online that now inspires a lot of online education businesses. Microfinance, where you had Mohammed Yunus that helped 100 million people step out of poverty through microfinance, and he was the pioneer of that long before banks and insurance companies came onto, the, uh, on, on, onto, onto board. Now, this really can be a radar for great innovations if you look out for them and collaborate with social entrepreneurs. Second one. Many of them are non-profit, but there are models that you can monetize, and there's amazing investment opportunities that do not only generate a financial, but they generate a beautiful impact, a social impact return on your investment. In Germany, we have an impact investing vehicle called the Finance Agency for Social Entrepreneurship. Just in the last two or three years, we've done about 40 deals with a volume of 16 million euro. Now, this might not seem as much to you, but there's literally hundreds of these impact investing funds popping up these days, and the space is growing really fast, because what investors increasingly want to see is a social impact alongside a financial return, and I think impact investing gives you that. And number three, the government is taking notice. In Germany, just uh, in the last coalition contract, it said specifically that social entrepreneurship is a tool to help society become more prosperous, more fair and just. And in a lot of governments uh, across the country and across the world, um, you now see social entrepreneurship being pushed. I want to leave you today with two involvement opportunities. Number one. We have a global network of about 400 high-profile selected individuals, mostly business entrepreneurs and investors, that joined our Ashoka support network. And they provide us with financial support, but also with their backing, their contacts, their mentoring, their coaching. They open doors for the social entrepreneurs in our network. And for example, in Germany, Klaus Hommels is a member, Robert Gens and Ruben Ritter from Zalando, Alex Samver, Paul Bernhard Kalm from Burda, and many, many others. So true entrepreneurs at heart that we benefit a lot from, and I would like to very warmly invite you to consider the opportunity and this chance to come on board and become a part of this network. Now, number two, and this is probably the one that I'm most excited about today, which is a new program that we just recently launched called Carry for Good Pledge. And it allows investors and VCs to pledge a certain percentage of their future carried interest to the social entrepreneurs in the Ashoka network. And Klaus Hommels, the founder of Lakestar, um, is the anchor pledger for this Carry for Good program. And at last year's, or this year's NOAA in Berlin in summer, he announced that he officially is making that commitment to the Ashoka Network. And again, any VCs, investors in the room, or watching the live stream, I very warmly invite you to consider that opportunity to become a part of this growing space of social impact entrepreneurship. Now, I'll leave you with that. Um, I would close with a last reason, I would say a fourth reason, why I think you may want to consider getting involved in social entrepreneurship, and that is because it just makes sense. And at the same time, it's an amazing, 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 enjoyable experience to work with these social impact entrepreneurs because they're truly, truly changing our world, our societies, impacting the environment, and I couldn't be happier to be one of the people so closely involved with them, and I hope to welcome you in this experience, in this journey, alongside us. Thank you. That's all for me for today.